and we're back on the beach it's been about a week now we haven't got out we've had some strong westerly winds so we haven't even had a chance to get to the to the boat at all so. but today you can see it's calmed down it's calming for a couple of days before the wind does funny things again so it's not much of a summer at the moment with the wind that's for sure but we're going to go out and see if we've got anything in the pots because like they've been sitting there for a week and hopefully we baited them well and hopefully there'll be something nice in those pots we'll see you out there When you get a lot of seaweed like this on a pot, that's a classic sign there's been swell and it moves it around under the ocean. That's what moves your pots in storms. It's just some spiders in here by looks of it. And lots of seaweed that needs to come out. If you don't want it in your pots, it can drag your pot away, the weight of it. And this as well. Well, I'm surprised. I thought we might have had one of those, but there you go. Save your strength. Right, this is flip top pot. See if it's done him today. He's pulled off the magic. This one's got a very old shell, you can see he's covered in barnacles and that. He's actually sized, but we're not taking it that small. We always wait till they get a bit bigger. You don't get anything out of them otherwise. It's not worth it killing killing that for a tiny tiny little bit of meat that'll be in it.
got a sort of white crab shell floating around in it. Look at the size of that one. That's an absolute belter, that one. Another one, another one, which I'm going to have to gauge. Not certain about this one. Yep, size. It's surprising, isn't it? It looked tiny. Yeah. Compared. compared to that one, that's the thing. You yeah. think it looks a bit lot smaller, but it's because this one's so big. All right. So the camera battery just went dead, but uh, I wanted to show you this because there's the size of that eel in there. Huge eel along with another one. There is actually a lobster in there under all the eels. That eel is pretty much dead, the other one is just big. And in this pot, something white sticking out the side, claw maybe. Yep, claw. Lobsters, little lobsters. Big crab. Hmm? It's alright. Right, we can these things. So we're on a macro shoal, but the mackerel are quite small, so nearly at the moment, well, 100% of them are going back. Just trying to see if there's some bigger ones around. I wonder if I drop down through the shoal if I can get through it. Oh, I'm on the bottom. No, I'm not. I'm on for a fish. <laughs> I thought that was the bottom. Well, that one's not bad. It's better, that one. What we will do though, if they're like borderline, we can always keep some for baits. Remember, we haven't got any bait. And I'll have to use what I can use. So I don't want to use all my crew. Oh, line. Or just a biggie. Oh. Look at them. Look at the babbies. Now these are perfectly legal, but to be fair, they're just, they're not, they're not, that one there will just about pass, but the rest, they're not worth it. Not for me, anyway. I don't want them that small. And the people that have mackerel don't want them that small. Most of them, anyway. Yeah, really. yeah. Trouble is, the little ones that used to take the southing can't take now because of the size of it. Again, you see. Small. Look at him! Yeah. <laughs> Listen to that laugh! Fish smash! <laughs> Beauty! Yeah, nice! That was a couple of other big ones, really. Yeah. Right, uh, pliers. This. We were just trailing and see if we could get a bass. Look at the size of that mackerel. Yeah, look at it. Beauty, that. Mm. It's a belt, you know they're big ones there. Anyway, that bass we had just before, I don't think I showed you it. There it is down there. Good size one, it's going to be around 50 something centimeters, I'd say. That one. Right, will this 
pot have caught anything. This is our green pot. Again, this is an old pot, not quite as old as the ancient one, but it still catches well. The question is, will it have anything in it? It's got a better chance than the other one because it's in a better position, I hope. Yeah, it's not far from the edge of a rock. a bit weedy. Ooh! Ooh! Look at him! Look at the size of that crusher! It's full of fish. Fish and crushers, that's what it's got in it. Probably hiding from the rockfish. Yes. He's like, you can't get me! Crazy, it's had a new claw obviously there, but that's a huge crusher yeah, on that. It. Yeah, just popping down there. I'll show the folks. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at him. What a crusher. Got a little claw and a great big one. That little, that big claw actually makes up for that little one. I think so, yeah. Here it comes. Does it have anything? It yeah, does. It pocket pop pulls it out the bag yeah. again. There Saves the day as we always say with the last pot. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and there it is. Pocket pot lobster. Right, we've got to go because the camera's about to die. Bye for now. See you next time.